Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about side hustles. This is a topic that I'm always, always passionate about. Sorry about the noise, there are kids in the background, you know, we are self-isolating, so kids are in the house. Anyway guys, I will be talking about side hustles. This is a topic that I really love because I'm always on the search for multiple ways to make an income. Especially now that I'm growing older, I'm really looking for ways to make more money because money, I'm telling you, money is good. I know people have demonized money over the years, but money is a tool, it's a resource. It helps you do other things that are really important in life. It gives you a pattern. So money is not really a bad thing. A side hustle is something that you do on the side of your main job. For example, I have a... For example, I have a 9 to 5, I have a job that I do from 9 to 5, but over the weekends I have some capacity, I have some free time, even through the weekdays, maybe in the evening I have a free hour. What can I do during that free hour to make me an income? And I know I've always been a fan of talking about online jobs, but in this video I really want to mix it up. The first thing I've noticed that people are really making a lot of money on and you can do it is Airbnb. If let's say you have an apartment somewhere or you travel a lot somewhere, you can sublet your room, you can put it up on Airbnb, make it beautiful, look at uh, similar rooms in Nairobi and see how people are really making money off Airbnb. If let's say you have a house somewhere, you're very lucky enough to have a house somewhere in the city. It doesn't even have to be the city, it could be Nanyuki, it could be Meru, it could be wherever people are traveling to. We're living in such a world that people are really traveling a lot. Even with the pandemic, let's hope that things will really ease up and people will start flowing in and out of the country and people will start traveling. I'm really looking forward to that. But in before that, maybe you can think about a room that you have and how you can make it an Airbnb. You can even use this time to prepare for that I know that the pandemic will change how travel happens how the hotel industry the accommodation industry happens but it, I think Airbnb should be something that you consider in the long run or let's say when this thing dies down hopefully maybe that is something that you can do the next thing I want to talk about is a virtual assistant a virtual assistant is like an assistant it's somebody who does their tasks online and you help somebody online and the best thing about virtual assistants is that you can do it in Kenya you can do it uh, for somebody all over the world say for example I have um, a shop a physical shops and I have receipts that I've ha taken photos of I might hire a virtual assistant to put all those photos the lists um, the receipts of everything that people have bought into an Excel spreadsheet maybe I don't want to do all that virtual assistant can help you in an array of things they can help you edit photos it doesn't matter so try and look for virtual assistant jobs you can look for them online there's so many websites that might help you with virtual assistant a simple Google search is going to show you so many uh, sites you know some sometimes i get so many questions about gene how can i be a virtual assistant and one thing i would like to just tell you is just search google just google you will find different things you obviously the first thing you find would be the most helpful but you have to apply yourself and you also have to apply for these jobs the next thing is to manage social media pages for example now that businesses are at home businesses have opened up to the idea of people working from home and there's never better time for you to start looking for social media jobs you might find a company that has a dead social media page maybe a dead facebook page no instagram page and yet they're creating amazing products so you can hit them up and share your quote and pitch yourself uh, look for ways to pitch online to be a digital marketer or a social media marketer and tell them hi i have this agency or i am a consultant and check out my profile i've handled brands from a to Z in this and these countries, these have been my results. I would like to revamp your pages for you. And most businesses now, if they have the budget, they can be able to give you that job. However, as I always say, searching and applying is the magic. So there's no way you're going to find a job just waiting for you and you just apply and you have to really really search and apply so no one will just give you a job just like that you have to apply showcase and that's always the hardest thing so but you have to be willing to do that but that's something you can do at this time and look for jobs however make sure you have the skill first i am assuming you already have the skills when i'm talking about this video so it's not a video about um people who don't have the skills yet the next thing you can do is freelancing freelancing is just basically working online in different sectors it's where you're free to work for many companies and there's so many websites there's so many content mails there's so many types of websites that you can do freelancing for so i have done a video about how to work online and how to start freelancing and i'm gonna link it 
here i'll also link another video here for you to check out and how to get started and because i don't want to repeat everything i've actually covered all of these things in previous videos the next thing is also a bit affected by the pandemic but you can do after this would be to be a tour guide i have seen that airbnb also has airbnb experiences where you can offer your services to people who are entering in kenya and you can show them around the city however you cannot do this now but i believe once everything dies down you can be able to start this later on in the year or next year whereby you can let people sign up for walking tours. I don't know whether you need a certain license for that, but make, make sure you do your research. You can take people, uh, you can sign up to be a local guide and show people around, for example, on Airbnb experiences. For example, when I was going to Lamu, I was really looking for a tour guide or someone to take me around, but I didn't find someone. And I think that's such a huge niche. Let's say you live in the coast, you can always take people on like a food tour and they can give you money and you can really put your prices as much as you want them for example you can say like a day somebody can give you 5,000 Kenya shillings to be taken for lunch somewhere or to be taken around for an afternoon you as a photographer you can also sign up as a local photographer on such sites you see possibilities are are there it's just a matter of thinking about what skill do you already have and how can you make that skill work for you and how can you put it and monetize it that's always the hardest thing the next thing is sort of a small business but I think it's always amazing is creating amazing t-shirts. So nowadays I've seen nowadays I've seen that people are really loving graphic t-shirts. They love t-shirts that have like words written on them, graphics, um, catchphrases. For example, if you have a catchphrase that people would love, you can create your own t-shirt business. You can look for local printers, people who print lo t-shirts locally, or you can look for international brands. For example, I know there's a brand called Teespring where you can customize your t-shirts. For example, if you have a client and you can customize it on the website, put the logo and they print the t-shirt and send it for you. All you have to do is choose the color, the quality, the material and all that and they ship it for you. However, I feel like that might be a bit expensive if you have a local printer that could really, really work. And this works for people who are really out there online, people who really have a following, uh, people who have like organizations where you wear your t-shirt and maybe people will want to wear that. Or whatever you even put on the t-shirt is very catchy and very relatable to people or very current. I think that's a really nice business that you can start and you can have your own clients from that. The next thing is something I'm very happy that it's come up is podcasting. I've really, really seen so many podcasters pop up in Kenya. Audio content is becoming very interesting. I really love podcasts. Some of my favorite podcasts, I listen to, I listen to some of my favorite podcasts every morning when I'm preparing my breakfast, getting ready for the day, cleaning up. And podcast it's a good way to consume content because sometimes video you don't always look at a video but if you hear it in podcast form you can actually uh, enjoy i've also noticed that kenyans have really come up on podcasting i'm really looking for actually podcasters to listen to in kenya so we'll leave a link down below if you're one and one way that you can make money with podcasting is by brand deals for example i've noticed that most of the people talk about our sponsorship or a brand when they're talking about their podcast and they link it and say this brand is sponsored by x and x brand and so they, they do this 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 and you can get your coins from that especially if you have a following and you have let's say you have like 10,000 active listeners a month. That's just a random number. You can get brands to pay you. Brands can listen when they sh you show them your audience. Below this video, you'll find a very nice downloadable for you. It is free. All you have to do is download where I've listed 20 more side hustles for you that you can start. I think it's a very nice resource and you might find something um, nice for you. And so those are just a few side hustles. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.